story to tell. China began developing a new modern mandarin fighter in the late 1980s, the J-10, as the successor to its J-8 and J-9 aircraft. The Chinese J-10 was supposed to be the answer to the Russian MiG-29 and the American F-16. The J-10 is manufactured by Chengdu Aircraft Corporation CAC. The maiden flight was made in 1998 and entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 2003 after nearly 18 years of development. Originally, the J-10 would be the mainstay of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. There are currently more than 300 J-10s in service and nearly 25 naval variants in service with the People's Liberation Navy Aviation. Chinese J-10s recently caught the eye in a simulated dogfight with the Chinese Su-30 MKK in the stormy weather and poor visibility. The J-10's combat readiness is very positive. With the advent of more advanced jet fighters, such as the J-16 and the fifth-generation J-20, experts continue to raise questions about the J-10's viability in the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The J-10, NATO designation Firebird, is a lightweight, single-engine, all-weather mantle fighter designed for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, air-to-air, -air, and strike missions. Similar to the French Rafale fighters, the J-10 uses a large delta wing design and two canals to increase maneuverability. Armament payload similar to the MiG-29 and F-16 with three weapon hard points on each wing and three in the center line. Variants of the J-10 include the first improved version J-10A, the naval variant J-10AH, the two-seat trainer variant J-10X, and the upgrade version J-10B with active electronically scanned array radar and an optical sensor. The newest and most advanced variant is the J-10C, which has recently been powered by the domestic WS-10 Taihang engine. Compared to the original Russian jet engine AL-31, the nozzle on the WS-10 engine is significantly wider and has a range structure inside the nozzle, which the AL-31 does not have. As can be seen, the WS-10 nozzle is somewhat lighter than the Russian engine. In addition to improved avionics, such as the EASA fire control radar and visual infrared seeker, the J-10C is compatible with many new Chinese aviation weapons, including advanced long-range missiles such as the PL-15. As the next step, China is expected to develop more advanced engines with a greater threat-to-weight ratio, longer service life, more efficient maintenance standards, and intelligent control technology to match the needs of next-generation aircraft. Despite having served the People's Liberation Army Air Force for more than two decades, the future of the J-10 maintains uncertain, as China focuses on advanced fighters 
such as the J16 or J20. Meanwhile, regional rivals such as India and Japan are using Rafale Su-30 MKI, F-15, and even F-35 fighters. The J-16 was developed based on the Soviet Su-27 with improvements held by mainland media as the Chinese Su-35. In addition, the Chinese Air Force also owns many J-11s with many variants and upgrades compatible with many old and new attack weapons such as R-77 or PL-10 missiles. The J-11 has also become an important part of the Chinese Air Force with more than 400 in service, while the Navy is operating about 70 of them. With a focus on stellar technology, China is producing and developing two types of stellar fighters, the J-20 and FC-31. Similar to how the US F-35A will replace the F-16, the FC-31 will likely replace the J-10 in the People's Liberation Army Air Force. My video about Chinese J-10 answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.